Hey YouTube, the Wild Magic here, and this is my first real webcam video. I mean, I know the intro video was awesome, but anyway, um, this is a reply to Nephilim Free's video, Recreationist Stupidity, Misconceptions, and Outright Lies, Part 9. Um, I doubt he'll actually let me post this as a reply. Uh, by all accounts, he's a ridiculous censor, but... If you do watch this, Neff, come on, instead of just censoring it, why don't you make a reply? Um, I mean, I may be wrong about this stuff. Anyway, on to business. The first thing Nephilim says in his video is that redshift quantization proves that the Milky Way is in the center of the universe. And he also berates people who ask for sources for this claim and tells them to use the keyboard. <laughs> I did. And here's what I got. Quantized redshift is bunk. He's saying that even evolutionists accept it. It's an outright lie. Uh, it's been known that this has been wrong since 1990. 20 years since this has been debunked. And he's still saying that everyone accepts it. It's not right. It's, yes, there's redshift. It just doesn't say what you say it says, you know what I'm saying? Uh, two seconds on Google or Wikipedia could have taught you this now. Two seconds. And that's not even... I even... Once I found the initial sources that said it was right, I even went to, like, 15 other websites to make sure... Because, you know, I, I'm not an expert in this area, and I wanted to make sure I got the right answer. You apparently didn't. You need to. <laughs> Redshift isn't quantized. The Milky Way isn't the center of the universe. Get over it. <sighs> anyway, next bit in the video is about dark matter. Uh, it's uh, too complex for me to get into here. But basically, he says that it's a lot more unsupported than it actually is. There is evidence for dark matter. It it, it works. It, it, it allows us to make accurate predictions. It's got evidence backing it up. I'm no expert in astronomy, so I can't go very in-depth, but I already put a link to let me Google that for you in there. You want me to put up another one for dark matter? There you go. Um, yeah. Anyway, the point he tries to make with it is uh, the current theory of the universe isn't scientific, so his theory is just as valid. No. No. Very no. That, that's about as no as you can get. That is just flat out wrong. Uh, that's the ad hominem to cock fallacy. Anybody that's looked at any of my earlier videos will recognize that term because basically what it means is uh, what it means is Two wrongs don't make a right. That one theory is unscientific doesn't mean that the, that another theory is equally valid. They're both unscientific. They, neither of them works. If dark matter is unscientific, that doesn't give Nephilim Free's theory any validity whatsoever. <laughs> no, no, their theory isn't scientific. Physics does not say that galaxies shouldn't exist. Quantized redshift is a fairy tale, and you still don't know the difference between evolution and the Big Bang. Please, stop saying that all evolutionists accept the Big Bang. We don't. I do, but I know some really bad shit. Crazy people. Okay? <laughs> evolution does not necessarily mean that you believe in the Big Bang. <laughs> Please learn the difference between those theories. The wild magic out. Live long and prosper.